Hey guys, I'm Tyler. Today we're going to build a new bandsaw table with removable dust collection. Let me preface this by saying I was given this bandsaw for free and I am very thankful for that, but there are several things about it that were never quite right. The table was not perfectly flat, so one side of the blade would be square but the other not. So I can never get really nice resaws. And I have a couple projects coming up where I need to resaw some more expensive wood. So I needed to remedy that problem. And it had no dust collection. And that was the biggest reason for this build. I'm going to make this table out of MDF because it's very stable and it's also very flat. So I cut a chunk of that off using my cordless circular saw and cut it square one side at a time using the table saw. Because MDF is not super strong, I'm going to wrap it in solid oak mitered edge banding. And it will all be assembled using wood glue and one and a half inch brad nails. To make the recess for the insert plate and the hole for the blade to go through, I used a simple jig and a router with a straight bit. After cutting the recess for the throat plate, I adjusted the jig and then slowly increased the depth of the router while cutting the hole for the blade to pass through. and then cut a groove using the table saw to allow you to change the blades on your band saw. Since MDF doesn't hold screws very well, and this is my plan to mount this table to the Charnians, I'm going to add some oak insert plates to aid in holding everything together. Before I get the table on the band saw, I wanted to add dust collection. This is one of the biggest reasons for actually building this table. But because the way the blade goes on this bandsaw, I need to be able to remove any dust port that I put on there. So this is what I came up with. Basically, I strapped a 45 piece of sewer and drain PVC to a piece of oak, and then I made these little bridges that I'm going to glue and screw in place next to where the trunnions mount. Basically, if I need to change the blade, I can take out this piece. If I need to tilt to cut a piece of wood at 45 degrees, I can take this out as well made sure to drill the holes through these bridges pretty much as through holes so that the threads don't break anything. Got the new table on here and I'm only going to eyeball it because when I put the fence on the fence will have adjustments and then I can use the fence to make a miter slot that's dead nuts to what I need. And now drill a 3 8 hole to keep both sides of this table together using a 3 8 dowel. It would have been better to drill this hole before cutting the groove. Okay, so this video has turned out a little bit differently where up to this point this has been a failure in my opinion. The table is a good table, but it actually takes away from the resaw capacity of my saw. Yes, I can put a riser block in, but I don't want to put any money into this bandsaw at this point. So what I'm going to do is recess these reinforcement pieces into the MDF and that'll give me a quarter inch back. And then when I put the table on the bandsaw, it was actually sitting up here. So I'm going to try to grind down these pieces of casting so that the table sits here. And that'll get me another quarter inch. So I'll get a half an inch back, which will actually increase my previous re resaw capacity from six to six and a quarter inches. This time around, I added a few screws in the insert plates just to try to hold everything together a little bit better.
I'm using a thin piece of bamboo to make the insert plate. I cut a small square on the bandsaw, took it over to the spindle sander to make it a circle, and then back to the bandsaw to cut the groove for the blade. I cut this groove with the insert plate upside down so that I would have the alignment in the correct side. I used some 220 to knock off any edges and then added a finished coat of water-based polyurethane. Well there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this build. It didn't turn out perfect for me the first time around, but I think I got it pretty good right now. It's nice and square to the blade, so I know I can get some good resaws. I do wanna say, if you're gonna do the dust collection like I did, you need to make sure that your mounting points for the dust collection are out of the way so that you can completely tilt the table without hitting the trunnions. If you guys enjoyed this build, please hammer that thumbs up button and please subscribe so that you never miss when I upload a new video. I'm DIY Tyler, you guys have a good one.